Let's come before God in prayer. Let us pray. God, we come to worship you this day. We come to drink deeply from the fountain of your compassionate love. We come to hear your word. We come to offer our prayers, our hearts and pain, our joy and our delight. Knowing you never forget nor abandon us. That we are prince and princesses in the royal court you invite us to. For we are your adopted children whom you love and long for us to know more of that love. In love, come to us, Lord God. Send the Spirit to be with us, to bring comfort and healing to us and to the world which you love. Show us how to do good. Forgive us all the times we have failed to do good. Bending rules to suit our selfish needs and following the ways of the world rather than the path of Christ, of being cr quick to criticise and slow to compliment. For these and all the many other ways we failed to do good, all these ways where we have sinned, forgive us, Lord, in your great compassion May we know once more this day, we are forgiven through Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we pray and continue to pray together, saying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. There's been a gradual phased release from lockdown in Scotland and we're not even vaguely there but as of Friday just past the 3rd of July we're able to travel more than five miles for leisure Woohoo! it looks so exciting but in some ways I would argue that when rules are really strict where it was stay at home only leave for absolutely essential purposes or to exercise once a day. In some ways, it was easier to stay with the rules. I'm not saying we liked it. I'm not saying there's not going to be massive repercussions afterwards in terms of people's jobs and mental health, etc. But as things change, as there's almost more rules even though they're not as strict. Things, people you can gather with, how many people you can gather with, whether you can go into somebody's home or not, whether you can use a loo, whether you can travel down to visit friends or family down south or even south of the border. But the rules are there to protect us, to keep us safe. It's hard to understand, I know. And I, as much as you will have felt those days where, this is fine, I can do this in other days, where you just feel it's just too much. And it's just hard. But then look at what's happened in Leicester, where they've had to go into full lockdown again, when businesses and shops had just started to reopen People were just starting to think there was a light at the end of the tunnel. And the same in Dumfries, where they'd been more or less COVID free. And it's thought that someone who'd been to Carlisle, maybe to hospital, just didn't quite follow the rules of, if you've got symptoms, 
stay isolated, wash your hands properly, stay two metres apart and they aren't getting to have the same liberties the rest of us do. It's hard doing the right thing. It's hard wearing a face mask as we're going to have to be doing when everybody else isn't. It's hard to stay two metres apart when it's someone you care for. It's hard not seeing people you care for. And I know it's especially hard for us not gathering for worship. It is hard to do good. And as much as we try, we'll all sometimes not quite manage it. And that's something our reading is picking up on, is doing good. And it's not just about following these rules for lockdown or coronavirus, but it's about living good Christian lives. Not just, well, they're doing it so I can do it. But our fundamental line, as I see it, is loving God and loving others as ourselves. I don't want to get COVID-19. So I see that my actions should act as if I don't want my neighbour to get it because I want to love them as much as I love myself. So I encourage you, I urge you, hold fast to doing what is right. To love your neighbour as yourself and to do good. In Christ's name. Amen.